Jungkook sits at a corner table in the library, pretending to read his book. His head covered with a hood and he was wearing glasses. He was here for one purpose. That was the girl sitting a few desks away from her. He mouthed stealing glances at Wyan across the room. She was wearing her hair in braids on both sides while a ribbon enclosed on both sides. She was adorned in cute jewelry as she stayed focused on her book. Wyan, immersed in her studies, occasionally looked up, catching Jungkook's eyes. This routine has become a familiar, silent dance. He believed she knew it by now too, or wondered if she daily came here so they could just sit and steal glances at each other. Jungkook, holding his camera, contemplates capturing a photo of Wyan, but his shyness holds him back. Today, however, feels different. He musters the courage to approach her. Jungkook, hey, Wyan, right? Wyan, oh, hi Jungkook, right? I see you around a lot. She looked at him quite surprised, not expecting him to come and talk after all these days. Jungkook, yeah, I, um, well, I noticed you too. I mean, not in a creepy way, I just, you know, from a distance. He instantly wanted to bang his head against the wall. Why would he tell her that? Wyan, don't worry, I get it. It's a small campus. Jungkook, feeling a little more at ease, takes a seat across Wyan. Jungkook, so what are you studying? Wyan, the usual, the mysteries of the universe also known as physics. What about you? Jungkook, photography. I love capturing moments. She looked at his camera, then back at him. His heartbeat was so high and he couldn't believe after all these days he was actually sitting in front of her, making friends. Wyan, mind if I see some of your work sometime? He prayed to Lord to keep him sane. Jungkook, sure, I'd love that. His nose turned red slightly. Jungkook, so, uh, do you come to library often? Wyan, are you trying to figure out my study schedule, Jungkook? She teased and he widened his eyes embarrassingly while shaking his hands. Jungkook, no, no, I just, I like the atmosphere here. She chuckled and he cleared his throat, looking away for a few seconds. Jungkook, um, so, do you enjoy having your pictures taken? Why? Depends on who is taking it. Jungkook, how about I click you in a static picture? She accepted excitedly and Jungkook stood up getting in his professional mode. Wyan, how do I sit? Like this or wait, shall I hold a book like this? Uh, this seems weird. She changed a few poses, holding a book in different ways, looking at it with dumb expressions, which Jungkook found real cute. He calmly stepped near her and told her about the sitting pose, also fixed the book in her hand, and set the angle of the camera, taking a picture.
He then came back and showed it to Wine, who had her eyes wide open. The color gradient, the background, the angle, the sunlight falling on her, everything gave off such warm autumn vibes, and she couldn't help but marvel at how good he was at it. Wine, so I guess I found me a professional photographer. He chuckled and took a seat again. Jungkook. Any time you ask me, I'll be there. She smiled and he found himself lost in those eyes and those smiles. When she caught him staring, he immediately shifted his eyes down to the table, getting shy. Wine, then I should go. I have classes. It was great talking to you. She stood up and Jungkook replied to her in the same way before she left. His heart was fluttering and blooming now that he finally managed to gain her attention. Vine and Jungkook started to meet often in library. Then, their meetups moved off to cafe and grounds as well. He would occasionally snap her some pictures. They both knew it was just another excuse to spend some time together until... They became good friends. It had been eight months since they became real good friends. Tonight, Jungkook stood before Wine's home as she invited him over. He rang the bell and she opened the door, dragging him inside. He chuckled, made sure he closed the door behind him. Jungkook this is so unlike you, he said as he looked around the place. Why, really? It's all my choice though. She said as she took a seat on the couch and Jungkook followed her. Jungkook, honestly, I expect vintage aesthetics more than these dark shades. Wine's gaze shifted for a moment, but she shrugged and got up, taking his leave and took him to kitchen with her. Wine, help me cook. Jungkook, help? Let me take over, girl. He wore an apron and saw that she was preparing homemade food. Jungkook easily took over the process as if he was some professional chef. Wine sat on the counter and looked at him with such adorable eyes. Wine, Jungkook, before we start, I have something to tell you. Jungkook, and that is... Wine, come here, will you? He stopped and looked at her, noticing it was something important. Placing the gloves down, he walked to her and she suddenly wrapped her arms around his neck. Jungkook took a step forward while his heart beat her so fast. He placed his hands on the counter beside her. Jungkook, what happened, Wine? She brushed her fingers through his hair and he leant into the touch while looking deep in her eyes. Wine, I've always been attracted towards you. She pulled him even closer and he placed his hands on her waist, his fingers burning when he got in contact with her. Wyatt, it's been a year we know each other, eight months since we talked. I really like you. She stole his words and Jungkook was left staring at her with shocked yet proud expressions. There was no limit to his wishes. At one point, he 
He wanted to dance happily and kiss the life out of her. On the other hand, he wanted to disappear before he gets a heart attack. Jungkook moved closer. They could feel each other's breath as the distance between them kept decreasing. His eyes moved to her lips and he let out a deep breath. Wild, I know you want me to, but he looked in her eyes and suddenly felt something sharp against his stomach. Looking down, she held the knife against his kidney, near to stab him. Wine, I'm not the girl you want. She put pressure against his skin with the knife, enough to probably draw out some blood. Jungkook didn't flinch as he stared back in her eyes. Wine, I am a mafia's daughter, getting raised and trained to take after the empire one day. I'm not the innocent girl you fell for. I fight, kill, torture people. My life is full of danger and problems. Turn around and leave while I'm giving you a chance. Jungkook felt the knife getting more and more pushed against him. He took another step forward daringly and held her jaw. Jungkook, was this supposed to scare me? Wine. Huh? Jungkook, none of what you said affects me a bit, except for when you asked me to leave. It didn't fall for you to turn around when I see danger. He snatched the knife and threw it away, never moving his eyes off wine. Jungkook, I might have never expected you, or all of this. But my feelings for you are genuine. No matter what happens, as long as you promise to be with me, I can handle all of this. Vine was left shocked, unable to say anything. And Jungkook pulled her to him, holding her jaw, and kissed her. It's true, Jungkook didn't expect Vine to be a mafia. But the real shock was Vine never thought a shy person like Jungkook could hold this much power over her. She kissed him back, wrapping her arms around his neck, and Jungkook held her by her waist, deepening the kiss. Once they pulled back, she caressed her cheek and looked down at his torso, moving the shirt up very slightly from the corner. It was a little cut, so she grabbed a bandaid and placed it over the injury. He got back to finishing the food, taking some time to process her reality. But he knew. He could settle with it without a problem, no matter how hard it might be. Vine sat in his arms after the dinner and he wrapped them around her, his heart fluttering at the fact he finally got to hold her. Vine, I thought you might leave me. Jungkook, never think like that again. He caressed her cheek and pulled away, taking a deep breath, and she chuckled. He touched his hair nervously, and there he was, the shy boy making a return. Oh, she missed him so much. Wine, so, I got me a free professional photographer this time. Jungkook, well, I might like some special thank yous in return each time. They laughed and she pegged his lips. She never thought in that line of work she would find her a man like him. He was a traitor she was going to protect forever. 